Storm Tracker weather starts now with meteorologist Joey Bianconi. All right, welcome back everybody and happy Friday. Boy, am I glad it is Friday. I need a weekend here and it's right around the corner. 53 degrees, mostly clear skies to start out our day, but we do see a few clouds in the background there along the Big Belt Mountains. Great Falls, we're at 48 out there. It's a little bit of a chilly morning in comparison to what we have seen uh, here across the state over the last few weeks. Nothing really going on on the radar, just a couple of showers in northern Wyoming down there. Notice this cloud cover that's in central Idaho right now. A couple of showers have formed already. That's what's going to move into southwest Montana later on this morning and into this afternoon. Could see a few showers, a few thunderstorms south of I-90, but mostly dry day for the state. Going back towards the east, here's the remnants of what was Tropical Storm Debbie finally getting picked up by some uh, upper level transport that's going to move on out of here. But lots of rain moving through central Pennsylvania and parts of New York right now. If we look at the weather alerts for the East Coast, well, there is certainly a lot of them throughout this morning. Flood watch is still for the Carolinas, Virginia. Flood warnings still in effect for areas south of Raleigh through Virginia, up all the way into the New York uh, metropolitan area. Tornado watch out there as well. So back to our state, not going to see as much rain as the Carolinas did. Uh, over the last few days. They had 10 to 15 inches of rain in some spots over the last couple days. We will see some light rain showers in southwest Montana. A few of those showers could get as far north as Helena, but I think most of us will stay dry. Most of the activity will be south of I-90. Butte and Bozeman could see a couple of isolated thunderstorms throughout this afternoon. And then Billings will see some light showers on through the morning hours of tomorrow. But tomorrow is going to be the main event for some thunderstorms as we'll have a disturbance that makes its way through western Montana into the afternoon hours. Notice the southern border of our state already has some showers and storms by about 1 o'clock, but then coverage really starts to expand here by the mid to late afternoon hours. A few thunderstorms along the Rocky Mountain front, pretty strong looking thunderstorms, at least on our future cast here in southwest Montana. A few of these storms could have some gusty wind associated with them, but no widespread severe threat at this time. Those storms will make their way through Billings late tomorrow night and into early Sunday morning. So a few wildfire updates or lack thereof, because none of these wildfires have changed any, which is good. Not having grown, but also haven't updated any of the containment numbers. Miller Peak Fire still at 86 per percent. And then we go up to the Bob Marshall Wilderness, the Pentagon Fire still at 62 acres. So air quality has taken a dip today due to some wildfire smoke. We had a northwest flow aloft yesterday, northeast winds at the surface. That brought in some wildfire smoke from Canada. So places like Great Falls, Helena, Lewistown, all in the moderate air quality right now. And we will see some wildfire smoke transported by southwest winds this afternoon into southwest Montana. So today, high pressure in the northeast corner of the state. It's going to be a nice day out there, but we will see those isolated thunderstorms into southwest Montana. Most of us stay dry today, but we will see some more thunderstorms Saturday and Sunday across the state. 